Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing rice water for hair growth. I've seen so many of these videos on YouTube, and I don't ever click on them because they just don't look very real. And then I finally watched a few, and it really amazed me. So I decided to make a video of testing this rice water. This is the original recipe of the Ya woman in China. They're known for their long hair, and their secret to it is rice water. So let's just jump right into this video. Rice water is really good for your hair. It contains antioxidants, minerals, vitamins B and E, amino acids, and inositol. Now let's start making the rice water. What you're going to do first is add one cup of rice and just about a cup of water. Then you're going to be rinsing the rice with that water. The water for this part, it doesn't matter if the measurements are exact because you're just going to be dumping it out anyway. So you just want to rinse that all out to get all the dirt off of it that might have been on there from the factory that it was made in. And then you're just going to go to the sink and dump out the water, but make sure not to dump out any of the rice. After that, you're just going to take a mason jar, or about 32 ounces of water, and pour that into the rice. So I just filled the mason jar almost all the way up, and then just poured that into the rice. The next thing you're going to want to do is mix the rice water for about 5 minutes. It is a long time but you want to make sure you get all the good nutritious stuff out of the rice. Now what you're supposed to do is take a grapefruit and just cut off the peels. Traditionally, the Yao women use a pomelo peel, but those are very hard to find, and the closest thing to them is a grapefruit. So I'm just going to take a grapefruit and take all the peels off, and then you'll be using those. Then you'll just want to set the grapefruit peels aside. Now back to the rice water. So you take the rice water and pour it into a saucepan on the stove, but don't pour the rice into the saucepan. This is how the Yao woman's recipe differs from a lot of the recipes I've seen on YouTube. Because usually, the videos that I see, they let the rice and the water sit overnight and then they use it. But for the Yao woman's recipe, they actually separate the rice and the water and then just use the water and boil it and then they let it ferment for weeks at a time. After you pour the rice water into the bowl you're just going to add the grapefruit peels and then you're going to also add a few drops of lavender essential oil. Then you're going to turn the pan on high for about 7 minutes. Here's what it looks like after about 7 minutes. Now I'm going to put the burner on medium and do it for another 7 minutes. So here's what it looks like after it's all done. Now I'm just going to let that cool for a few minutes just so that I'm not pouring scalding hot liquid into the jar. Then after that I'm just going to add it to the jar and we're all done. Here I'm just adding it to the jar. You'll probably want to use a funnel, and then you just add everything, the rice water and the grapefruit peels. Now you're just going to put on the lid and let that ferment for about a week. Hello everybody, it's been about 8 days. I didn't do it after 7 days because I didn't have enough time yesterday. But this is what the rice water looks like. And I don't think it's going to matter that I did it a day late because the Owl Women actually ferment theirs 
like weeks and even months at a time sometimes. So it really doesn't matter. But anyway, I'm just gonna be pouring this into this bowl. Then I'm gonna like flip my head upside down and get it all through my hair. So let's just do that. So here I'm just dumping the water into the bowl. You want to dump just the water, not the grapefruit peels, like I accidentally did. <laughs> so if you do, just take those out. And then I'm just going to flip my hair upside down and make sure every hair is completely saturated with the rice water. I'll rub it into my scalp and dump it over the top of my hair with this cup. And then after that, you're just going to be leaving it in a bun for 20 minutes because that's about how long the Yao woman do it. So I'm gonna be leaving it in my hair for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna be rinsing it out with regular water. For the Yao woman, this would be the only thing they use to wash their hair, and they'd use it about every three to four days. But for me, I decided to wash my hair earlier today, and I just used my regular shampoo and conditioner. So you can just use whatever shampoo and conditioner you want. And I actually make my shampoo and conditioner. I have a video for it. If you wanted to check that out, I'll put it in the description box. But you can just use whichever shampoo that you use normally. After you've got your hair completely saturated with the rice water, you're just going to put it in a bun for 20 minutes. So after I've left the rice water in my hair for 20 minutes, I'm just going to rinse it out. And how I'm rinsing it out is I got a bucket of water and I just filled it with clean filtered water. And I'm just going to be dipping my hair in it and squeezing it out a bunch and just trying to get all the rice water out of my hair. You don't want to leave the rice water in your hair or it'll get protein buildup and that's really bad. It'll make your hair really brittle and dry. How the Yao women usually wash out their hair is they have a river that they do it, but obviously I don't have a river that I'm going to go to and wash out my hair, so I'm just using the bucket of water instead. As I said earlier in this video, the Yao women use this rice water every three to four days, but if you were to use this rice water, You'd probably want to use it about every two to three weeks because your hair is not used to it and it will get like protein buildup if you use it too often. The Yao women are able to use it so often because their hair is used to it and they've been using it for years. So if you used it for a few years then you could probably start washing it every two to three days or three to four days but just start out washing it every two to three weeks. Okay, so I put the rice water in my hair and I wash it out and now I'm just going to let my hair air dry. Okay, so my hair is all dry and this is what it looks like. It, so I think it worked pretty well. So my hair felt really thick after I used this and it might have just been dried out because I just washed it and then I pretty much washed it again. So that might be why it was dried out, but it was really thick and it was a little bit hard to comb through, but overall I think my hair was better than it was before I used to this. So if you use the rice water, you're supposed to use it only like once every two to three weeks. So I definitely think that I will continue using this and Obviously you won't see immediate results, but my hair does feel pretty nice and just soft. It is a little bit dry, so it was really hard to comb through, but that's probably just because I washed my hair like upside down, so it was really knotted. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please 
hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see on my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye!